now i am discussing one problem about the expansion of the taylor series okay i am taking one problem expand e power x cos y expand e power x cos y near 1 comma pi by 4 near 1 comma pi by 4 by Taylor series method by Taylor's series method okay in this case we are using node 2 in the node 2 the function x comma y is defined at particular particular a comma b here a is 1 b is a pi by 4 what is the taylor series expansion the taylor series expansion just we remember f of x comma y is equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial or simply x minus a fx of a comma b plus y minus b f suffix y of a comma b plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus a whole square f suffix x x of a comma b plus 2x minus a y minus b f suffix x y of a comma b plus y minus b whole square f suffix y y of a comma b plus 1 by 3 factorial x minus a whole cube f suffix x x x of a comma b plus 3x minus a whole square y minus b f suffix x x y of a comma b plus 3 x minus a y minus b whole square f suffix x y y of a comma b plus y minus b whole cube f suffix y y y of a comma b plus so on it is the taylor's series that can be expressed in the power of x minus a and y minus b here x equal to 1 y equal to sorry a equal to 1 b is equal to 5 by 4 here a equal to 1, b equal to pi by 4. The given function is, given function is f of x comma y is equal to e power x cos y at a comma b equal to 1 comma pi by 4. Okay. Now we can find out first derivatives and second derivatives. And also third derivatives with respect to the x and y variables. F is e power x cos y. We can find out the f suffix x. That is a partial derivative of function f with respect to x. f suffix x is equal to e power x derivative is e power x cos y. And f suffix y is equal to cos y derivative is minus sin y e power x sin y okay and at particular point f suffix x of 1 comma pi by 4 the value is e power 1 is e cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 it's cos pi by 4 that is cos 45 degrees e to 1 by root 2. It is also f suffix y of 1 comma pi by 4. This is equal to e 
minus e sin pi by 4. So, sin pi by 4 value is also 1 by root 2. That is minus e into 1 by root 2. Next one, f sub x, x, x is equal to <coughs> this derivative, f sub x, x of derivative e power x, derivative is e power x cos y. f sub x, x, y, if f sub x, x derivative is with respect to y, that is cos y derivative is sin y, e power x minus sin y. Next, f suffix y y, f suffix y derivative with respect to y is sin y derivative is cos y, that is minus e power x cos y. Again, f suffix x x x, again this derivative with respect to x is e power x cos y. f suffix x x y, its derivative is minus e power x sin y f suffix x y y means you either you take this or this if you taking this function means with respect to x you are taking this function means with respect to y it is equal to minus e power x sin y derivative is cos y And f suffix y y y it is equal to this derivative is minus e power x cos y derivative is minus sin y minus into minus plus sin y. And these double and triple derivatives are find out at particular point 1 comma pi by 4 f suffix x x of 1 comma pi by 4 it is equal to e power 1 cos pi by 4 e by root 2 f suffix x y of 1 comma pi by 4 this is equal to minus e power 1 sin pi by 4 sin 45 that is 1 by root 2 and f suffix y y of 1 comma pi by 4 it is equal to minus e power 1 cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 that is root 2 by root 2 f suffix x x x of 1 comma pi by 4 this is equal to e power x by root 2 f suffix x x y of 1 comma pi by 4 this is equal to minus e by root 2 f suffix x y y of 1 comma pi by 4 it is equal to minus e by root 2 f suffix y y y of 1 comma pi by 4 this is equal to e by root 2 okay these all values substitute in the taylor's series what is the taylor series here we note aside f suffix x is equal to e power so e by root 2 f suffix y of 1 comma pi by 4 is minus e by root 2 okay The expansion of Taylor series is f of x comma y and you get here find out f of 1 comma f of x comma y equal to e power x cos y at particular point f of 1 comma pi by 4 is 
e power 1 cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 that is e by root 2 that is substitute here e by root 2 plus x minus 1 e by root 2 plus y minus pi by 4 minus e by root 2 <coughs> plus plus 1 by 2 factorial x minus 1 whole square f suffix x x of that is e power e by root 2 sorry plus 2 x minus 1 into y minus pi by 4 f suffix x y value minus e by root 2 plus y minus pi by 4 whole square f suffix y y value minus e by root 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial x minus 1 whole cube f suffix x x x that is e power 1 e by root 2 plus 3 x minus 1 whole square y minus pi by 4 so minus e by root 2 plus 3 x minus 1 y minus pi by 4 whole square minus e by root 2 plus 1 minus y minus pi by 4 whole cube into e by root 2. That is the Taylor series expansion and its simplification is Taking common e by 2 in all terms, f of x comma y is equal to e by 2 is taking common in all terms of the series that is 1 plus it's x minus 1 minus y minus pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 factorial e by 2 outside x minus 1 whole square here minus e by root 2 that's minus 2 into x minus 1 into y minus pi by 4 minus e by 2 e by root 2 outside that is minus y minus pi by 4 whole square plus 1 by 3 factorial e by 2 e by root 2 outside x minus 1 whole cube here plus into minus minus 3 x minus 1 whole square y minus pi by 4 here also minus minus 3 x minus 1 y minus pi by 4 whole square plus y minus pi by 4 whole cube plus so on it is called as Taylor's series expansion at particular point to neighborhood point 1 comma 5 by 4. Thank you.